Let's start by running the top command to check the CPU usage. As shown, the ETCD process consumes more than 70% of a CPU core. Run the PS command to see the full command line for this process. We can see it as a standard ETCD binary executable without any changes. Let's use OpenResty X-Ray to check out this unmodified process. We can analyze it in real time and figure out what's going on. Open the OpenResty X-Ray web console in the web browser. Make sure it is the right machine you are watching. You can choose the right machine from the list below if the current one is not correct. Go to the guided analysis page. Here you can see different types of problems that you can diagnose. Let's select high CPU usage. Click on next. Select the Go application for ETCD. Select the process that consumes more than 70% of the CPU resources. This is what we saw previously in top. Make sure that the application type is right. Usually the default should be correct. The language level here is just go. We can set the maximum analyzing time. We'll leave it as 300 seconds, which is the default value. Let's start analyzing. The system will keep performing different rounds of analysis. Now it's executing the first round. The first round is done and it's on to the second one already. That's enough for this case. Let's stop analyzing now. It shows that the system is generating a report for the current analysis. We can see it automatically created a report. This is the type of problem we are going to diagnose. It's CPU. This is the number one hottest Go LAN code path for the CPU time. The process Unary RPC function is in the Go gRPC library. It's responsible for handling the simplest type of gRPC messages. This function is called by the handle stream function. Click more to see details about this code path. The code path was automatically derived from this Go LAN CPU flame graph. Click the icon to enlarge the flame graph. Continue to zoom in. The function underscore kv range handler gets the keys and the range from the key value store. The function underscore kv put handler puts the given key into the key value store. The range function is used to query the key value data stored in etcd by range. It calls runtime.newObject to create a large number of Golang GC objects. The function runtime.newStack has a high CPU overhead when writing data to etcd. This function is an internal function of the Go language runtime. It is used to create a new stack space for a Go routine. Below are more detailed explanations and suggestions regarding the current issue. It mentions the function process unary RPC. And it processes the unary RPC. Let's go back to the code path. Hover the mouse over the green box for the first function. We can see the source file of this function. And its full path for the server.go file in the tooltip. The source line number is 1024. Click the icon to copy the full go source file path for this function. Use the find command to find the source file. Paste the file path we just copied. Copy the full file path. Use the VIM editor to open the source file. And look at the Golang code in this file. You can use any editors you like. Go to line 1024, as OpenResty X-Ray suggested. The function md.handler calls different message handlers depending on the type of gRPC message. The underscore kv range handler and underscore kv put handler we saw earlier are two examples of such md.handler callbacks. On the status bar you can see that this source line is inside the process unary RPC function. The second hottest code path consumes about 12% of the CPU time. From this function, we know it is writing to a network socket. This is invoking the right system call. This function sends response data to the network sockets via the HTTP-2 protocol. 
the third hottest code path consumes about 11% of the CPU time. Here, runtime.m call mainly executes the scheduling of GoRoutine. Now we see the fourth hottest Go code paths. This is for logging every unary gRPC call. And we might want to skip such logging to save CPU time. Open Resty X-Ray can also monitor online processes automatically and show analysis reports. Go to the Insights page. You can find the reports for daily and weekly periods. So you don't have to use the Guided Analysis feature. Guided Analysis is useful for application development and demonstration purposes. Open Resty X-Ray is a non-invasive diagnostic system developed based on our dynamic tracing technology. It can monitor and scan various types of issues in real time. Examples include performance bottlenecks, stability issues, errors, and exceptions, as well as security vulnerabilities. If you like this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you.